One of the top requested features we've seen time and time again at Airtable has actually made it into production first inside of SmartSuite. That's pretty cool. Now, this is the idea that we have dynamic filters for our linked record. Now, that sounds kind of technical, but I think you'll see what I mean when we get into the product. It's the idea that we can select a value on a record and that then filters conditionally based on what we selected previously. So we can see the contact records based on a previous value that we selected. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a no-code implementation partner. Now, I feel almost silly making this video because the feature actually launched about a month and a half ago. But this was one that I was so passionate about because I worked hand in hand with the SmartSuite team to be able to bring this feature to fruition. This is something that our clients were asking about all the time, not because they were saying, hey, Dan, I really need dynamic filters for my linked records, but because we needed something that would make the application even more usable so we didn't have to hunt between tons of data that we had. So let me show you how this works. If you haven't signed up for SmartSuite already, you can do so with our affiliate link in the description below. Now I'm inside of SmartSuite. I'm in a sales CRM solution template, but you can do this in any solution that you have. And if we can imagine a sales rep as they're entering their opportunities inside of the system, they've got an implementation project, and this is for the Bloomjoy account, a linked record to our accounts. Now, if we take a look at our contacts, we can see that there are two contacts, Jennifer and Paul, who both work at Bloomjoy. This is their linked accounts. And on our opportunities here, as we're entering in this information about the opportunity, we'd want to say, hey, Bloomjoy is the account. And then we have certain contacts who are the decision makers or the champions for this particular opportunity. Now, the way that most no-code systems work is you click and you're going to link these records and you can link to any records that you want and you can search. We could search for Jennifer inside of the system and be able to link that record. No problem. But what happens when you get to thousands of records inside of the system? Maybe you've got 15 Jennifers. And so suddenly searching isn't always the best way of doing this. Well, why are we making the sales rep do the extra work of finding all those contacts when we know that we really want the contacts who work at Bloopjoy? We don't want to search for 10,000 different contacts. We want to find those specific contacts and link to them. So that's the idea behind filtering this. And this can happen in lots of different scenarios. Maybe you want to filter down on a location and you can say, oh, if you're in this state, here's our five stores that you have available to you. So this isn't just CRM oriented. In fact, I think in every implementation I've done, we can think of scenarios where this would make sense to be able to filter. So because contacts are the filtered list that we want, we'll click on our contacts and modify our field settings, go down to advanced settings. This is where we can see our fields, sorting and filtering. And this has all been available in the past. But if we click on filters, this is where we're going to put that dynamic filter. Now, in this case, what we're looking at are different fields or different properties of our contacts here. And we're going to say the account field. So remember, this is what's actually on the contact record. This is Jennifer linking to her account. If that account, and we'll change our operator instead of contains, we'll change it to is exactly. And then we can click, and this is where we'll see our dynamic filter available. And we can choose account. So what this is saying is when the account on the contact record is exactly the account on our opportunity record, that's how we want this filter logic to work. Let's go ahead and save this and we'll update our field. And now instead of displaying all of the contacts available, when we click, we'll see those two contacts that work at Bloomjoy. Let's test this out again. Maybe we get rid of Bloomjoy and actually this is for a and Industries and we link that record. And now when we click and we can see that Angela is the only contact that works there, therefore it makes sense that we would select that record. Now I did want to mention that this feature is not currently available on SmartSuite's forms. And that's something I anticipate in the future as the next iteration of the filters. But for now, one of the things you can do to work around that is by using fill out with SmartSuite. And this is something I've actually created a free course on. So feel free to click on that course in our description below. From here, if we're inside a fill out, this is all integrated with SmartSuite. I'm not going to build out a whole form, but I just want to give you the idea here. If we connected this to exactly what we were doing inside of SmartSuite, we could have our account and we want to filter these contacts. What we can do is we can edit our filters on the contacts and we can say, if the account on the contact record equals the record ID of the account that we've selected on the form, 
Well, now we'll go ahead and preview this record and we can say, let's try the same thing. Let's put in Bloomjoy. And when we select Bloomjoy, now when we go to select our contacts, we see those two contacts available as well. So if you're doing something that you want public facing, like a contact form on your website and you say, hey, show me these locations or show me who is available based on certain parameters that we filter on, you can also do that on forms with Fillout and SmartSuite. Using dynamic filters saves clicks and creates a more personalized experience, and that's a win in my book. If you have any questions about setting up SmartSuite, feel free to reach out to automationhelpers.com for a free 30-minute consultation.